Hi, welcome to the next tutorial. We are binge watching the tutorials about Arch Merged XFCE or not. You can uh, choose what article or what uh, tutorial to follow. It's all on archmerged.com. That's why we make these videos to show you how to set it up. So we've changed already some icons, as you can see. It also, it already looks quite nice. The thing is, uh, maybe you'd like to change also the panels and the plank. This is not a plank, this is a panel. So let's go into detail about that. Well, in Arch Merge, we've decided to move this one down there. So up here, giving the first Linux users the feel that they're still on a Windows, that this is still down there and has a button called Start normally, you know. So if you want to change things around, how would you do that? Well, you need to get into the properties of the panel. So the panel is down here and the panel preferences is here. If you unlock the panel and only if you unlock the panel, you can get here and here we have a handle. And if you click there and you can move it to the bottom, for instance, and then lock it again. That's one thing. The next thing is this panel too. So that's that one with these ants moving around it. If you want to get rid of it, and I do want to get rid of it, then I remove it. Otherwise you put it somewhere else, move it around. So I'm going to remove it. Why? Because I want my plank and plank is in there somewhere. Now I can't start typing. I'm so used to go on ty starting typing, finding this application, but I cannot. So I'll need another menu for that as well. But let's go ahead, go ahead with plank. Where is plank at? Oh yeah, sorry, it's this one. Plank, that's plank. Right mouse click and then control is pressed. Right mouse click and then you get these preferences and then you can say, let's put them to the top. Let's do icon zoom and then we get this kind of look. If we don't get icon zoom, we get this dead thing there. So that's that. Um, we have in Arch Merge a lot of choices, a lot of choices. So depending on the wallpaper and your look and your mood, you just pick whatever you want and that's that. So we have now our plank up there and this, for me anyway, plank is the things I use 80% of the time. They must be there. You can move them around because Vivaldi is the one I'm gonna use most. As I'm player, I'm not gonna use it. I'm not going to use it, evolution going out, mail reader going out, and registrator going out. So a lot of things that has to go out. And what you do is when you start an application you do want, and pop, 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 we have Chromium there. So you start things and then you say, okay, this one is an important message. If you get this thing here and you don't want to type in every time your password, you just say continue, say continue, and that's gone. Now back up here, keep in dock, oh, and right mouse click, keep in dock. And when you close these things, then it will be there already. We'll add more, for instance, Inkscape and GIMP. People don't use it, I use it all the time. It just depends what you, what you do, what your uh, workflow is, what your interest is. So keep in dock is going to be there. And Inkscape is another one, Inkscape is another one. I use all the time. You should know that Sardi and the surfing icons that maybe you're using is all about SVGs. So it's all about Inkscape that I work in. So now some icons to show you there. Then, so we've moved the panel. Can we make it also a little bit different? Can we change anything? Yeah, we can ask him to the length. We can change the length like this. That's something maybe you should think about. Um, number of rows, row size, bigger, smaller. On my HD TV, I'll make it a little bit bigger. So I, I sit, well, three meters away from the TV. So I need to make everything, the font bigger, the row size bigger, the icons bigger. So that's an idea. Opacity, if you enter the insights, you get another look. And when you leave it, again, another look. So those are ideas to do. Or the general alpha. So you can see through, you see the planet in this case, down there. 
I can quickly change to something more light. I'm pressing Alt and an arrow to the right. Here you see the leaves quite obviously, quite nice or not. So it's all about choices and this is where you set it and this is about application menu, the windows buttons, the separator and then we get the workspace which are down here, the clock and so on. If you want to change those you can change those as well. So we've changed that already uh, a little bit. Uh, don't think we changed really anything but it's up to you to decide what you change. Now this menu, I really don't like this menu, there's only one reason for it. I like to type my application. Sometimes we, you, we want to find something about printers, but what was the name again, you know? So we just want to type print and get a selection of uh, applications concerning printing. Let's install something, <coughs> something new. Add new items. This is all, all the things you can install. I see I have here and a line will explain it uh, later no i will not explain it later i will forget it so this line up here let's see if we can find it that's very clear so because of the plank xfc says i'm gonna make a nice shadow for it ah. thank you very much dear friends but it's a dock it's a panel so you go to the window manager tweaks to the last one as show shadows under dock windows. We don't need a shadow under dock windows. Please, guys, put this standard off. So, for many people, that's really a long search to find where that uh, is at. Okay, so back to this one. Um, so, a clock, a clipman, GPU, graph, you can add lots of things, and it's all um, about choice again and to check them out sensor plugins and all that but what I want to do is the whisker menu so this is a menu down here and I want another one I want a whisker menu so I say add and then strangely enough it's going to add the thing down here so I'm gonna move it up there so now I have two things but this one I can really type in two so printing this has everything to do with printing um, I want to uh, FTP, I don't know, FTP, okay, FileZilla, FTP, ah, yeah, okay, that was the name. So I can really search things. Right mouse click, this one has to go. So right mouse click, I removed applications menu like this. That's gone. All right, so now I have to set this up. This is a rather small icon, we can change this as well. So properties. And then you go and tell them you want an icon and a title. And when you make screenshots, you want to tell the people, look guys, this is made with Arch Merged and with, I've installed or decided to install XFCE on it. Then you go for a nicer icon maybe. This takes a while, it needs to load all these icons. Select an icon from menu icons, applications, international, so lots of things, maybe all icons. And then, I don't know, arch. These are the arch icons. If you say, okay, let's take this one, that looks nice. Then you get that one there. Show generic application names. So we have this as look, let's make it a little bit bigger. This is our look now. Show generic application names. Just check out what changes, don't see a lot of things change. Show category names and do it one by one. That's not nice, so back on. Show application descriptions. Now they're gone, but in the beginning they're very helpful to know what, what it is, what application, what it does. This application without starting it. Show the application tooltips. If you're not hovering over it, I guess then you will get a tip like this. It's maybe not interesting because it's the same thing as browse the web. Show menu hierarchy. Don't see anything change here. Uh huh. I think I saw something. 
not really. So, okay, leave it at as it is. You can make it small and, and smaller and very small. I think everything is okay the way it is, but you can make it bigger uh, and you make you can make the background opacity. And that's that's what I like. 80 is about good for me. This one is now a watch through. You can see the, the snow behind it. So that's interesting. So that's background opacity. Check out the sizes. And then behavior, switch categories by hovering. I do like that one. That when you go over it, you go quickly check out the, the applications that are installed, like so. Okay. Position search entry next to the panel. The search is now here, much, much faster, much quicker. You are here anyway with your mouse click and then go ahead. Position commands, these things up here, commission commands, position commands. And that's easier because the mouse is down here, so it's faster here than up there. And then position categories next to the panel buttons. That's gonna change this one here, which I think is neater, nicer. But it's all about choice. Again, a little bit too big. All these commands have been installed. Even this one and even that one have been installed. So you can use them if you want to. The mock shots is just this little thing. If you click this, you get an error if you don't install the mock shot. So now you can install this icon as well via this one. So browse and so on. Cancel. Okay. Um, I think this we can conclude this tutorial. We've changed a lot of things. This is now our menu. These are our icons we can get in there. This is our appearance. We've changed that as well in the previous tutorial. And it's now uh, up to a next tutorial about a completely different talk. Cheers.